Yeah, good morning, Walter. I'm going to make a short video this morning, and uh, uh, I, I'm, the tailstock is not complete, but um, I've made some progress on it. Um, I got the internal parts taken care of, and um, you know, on this video, I'm going to post my um, my OneDrive uh, uh, photos. Uh, progress photos on this. That way if anybody's curious um, they can look at those photos and kind of get an idea of what's going on because you know a lot of uh, a lot of the steps have been left out of the videos so uh, but this tailstock is you're right uh, <laughs> this is a big improvement. Uh, I still have some some things I have to work out. Um, the uh, some some of the some of the centers and things I have won't eject, so I've got to uh, put a little ejection pin somewhere uh, to get them to eject. Uh, some of them do. Uh, this this particular one um, uh, that holds the chuck, uh, it's got a tang on the end, so it ejects no problem. And uh, I you know I didn't realize it before, but I actually had a bunch of MT1 centers and stuff for this lathe because uh, I made a um, an adapter to go in the old tailstock that extended out over the carriage and that adapter had MT1 uh, taper in it so actually I did have a bunch of stuff laying around here geez you know over the years I've lost track of what I've got <laughs> it's a uh, it's a disaster I keep finding things I didn't know I had anyway you know one of my worst nightmares um, uh, with that lever action thing was trying to drill a piece of uh, brass uh, and of course you know I would uh, regrind the tip of the drill bit to to uh, accomplish that so it wouldn't grab but um, when you have the hand wheel with a fine um, with a fine um, uh, lead screw there you know you can you can feed it so slow that it doesn't grab anyway it just it works beautiful so I just I just chucked up a little piece of brass. Um, I didn't want to change the chucks or anything. This is just the three jaw scroll chuck in there, and um, so I and I and I robbed a hand wheel that's about the right size off of my other lathe. So uh, I, I've ordered a hand wheel. These these cast iron hand wheels are only about three or four dollars. Um, and if you buy them from China, there's there's uh, no shipping charge. Um, I bought I bought these from from MSC uh, a long time ago, and and uh, they're not as nice actually as the ones from China. This one's a little larger, but I managed to find one that's about two and three quarters of an inch uh, that I ordered, so it'll be here uh, shortly, probably in another week or two. Anyway. Um, so I decided to make a little video this morning um, to uh, let you know what's going on, and um, I've got the, I've got the main body and the cap all in place. I haven't cut the tail, uh, the shaft off the tail end of the the lead screw, so because I didn't know exactly how much room the uh, the hand wheel was going to take up. But I'm going to make just a quick short video this morning and uh, show you what's going on. And this thing extends way out over the cross slide, so there is no problems anymore. You are absolutely right. Uh, it makes the lathe uh, much more practical. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to do something about all the hard corners uh, on the tailstock, but that'll be in the finishing proce process. So, um, and some of the other things, um, I, I put a quick lock down on it, and um, uh, also a, a lock for the uh, where it slides along the bed of the lay so um, I'll probably make something for those two things that's a little nicer than what I've got but but anyway that's that'll suffice for right now so I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna be in the way of the camera here I'm sure but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go start the lathe and and um, I'm gonna probably let me maybe just uh, since you've seen the overall picture um, I'll just uh, you know zoom in on the cut a little bit you know not much and we'll see what's going on here and it this seems to work and be working really really smooth mm. 
it's just like glass. <laughs> I've got a, that piece of brass is a couple inches long and I just put a drill bit that was laying here and I don't even know what it is I think it's a metric drill bit or something I bought it special for something at one time or another this lead screw is um, 1 16th per turn so you can see Okay. Just beautiful. What a difference a day makes, huh? Well, I think the, um, also, I think um, some things may be slipping a little bit. This the hand wheel, first of all, doesn't fit the shaft that I've got here. Um, but it works temporarily. Um, the drill bit can't get rid of the swarp. I need to back it out and let it clear. It's not bogging down or anything. I think it's feeling kind of loose right now, I don't know. The quill's getting pretty far extended. So, this quill, I can I can change the, um, right now I'm backed all the way out. It's, it's, it's getting ready to eject the, um, the, the MT1 um, adapter there. So, let me, uh, let me shut this off here and zoom in on a couple other parts here so I just made a little hex um, uh, nut for the um, to tighten the quill so that actually was pretty simple actually I could use that and just put a handle in it if I want um, so that might that might come later uh, this hand wheel is about the right size actually um, I've got one coming that's a little bit smaller than this in diameter but not much different so uh, like I say it's I think it was four dollars from China or something so it's pretty cheap and then um, uh, one difficulty I had, I'll tell you, that, that rear block, you know, what I should have done is make it oversize and then get it all attached to the main body and then, and then put it back in the mill and trim off all the sides because I tried to make it exactly the right size and I couldn't get it aligned perfectly. So consequently, I had to run the face mill, uh, you know, over the whole unit to get everything flush. I only had to take off a few thousands here and there, but um, it didn't look right. So I think once I get all the corners beveled and stuff on the tailstock, it'll look a lot better. It might be a little large looking for the size of the tag lathe. I don't know, but, um, you know, it's okay. Serves the purpose. Boy, does it work nice, too. So, anyway, that's that's all I wanted to tell you. There's probably a lot of other things I'm I'm not thinking about, but uh, uh, <clears throat> I'll call off now and and post this little video and as just an update, and um, you can see what's going on. But everything's going along really smooth. The the lead screw works perfectly, uh, absolutely perfect. There is the nut the brass uh, bronze nut I made um, for the lead screw. There is absolutely no no uh, backlash in that whatsoever. It's just as solid as a rock, and the whole the whole system works just smooth as glass. So 
Um, I'm I'm really happy with it at this point. I think it's going to be the final pro the final project is going to come out pretty good, and it's not a lot of time and materials, um, so it's it's a pretty simple project. Anyway, uh, I'll call off now and post this video and and talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.